Hi, I'm Clem. I'm a senior level designer here at uh, Foundry 42 Frankfurt. And I was the designer behind uh, the new location that will come in the next big patch, which is Grim X. So I'm going to just present that to you now. All right, so um, Grim X is a location in the asteroid belt around Crusader's Moon Yella. Um, it was an old mining hub for like all the mining operations in the area and was called actually Green Imperial Hex in the, in the past. Um, this, this was a place for miners to store their personal ships there and then leave there and take shuttles to the different mining facilities in the area. So it had basic accommodations like shops and bedrooms and, and that sort of thing. Um, but when the mining operations dried up a few years back, um, the miners left and the place was abandoned and squatters came in and then gangs took over. And that's pretty much how it became what it is now. Um, one of the main things we're struggling with in, on the level design side uh, when it comes to creating those new locations is how to merge the sizes of ships and the sizes of humans because as you can see in the picture um, humans are very small compared to like from a medium landing pad here so when we have to fit like 40 of those landing pads then the spaces tend to get super big and we have trouble matching the exterior and the interior so for this location we actually decided to not try to have too many landing pads so we provide the bare minimum and we'll have hangers at the back of um, the asteroid where you can request uh, landing permission and park your ship there and it being safe from other players um, as well. So we think that's a good balance between, um, between the two and that lets us keep the interior spaces connected to the exterior without too much trouble. So what you'll see here is only a small part of what will eventually be built for this location because we needed a, a place for criminals to respawn at pretty fast. Like we don't want you to have to wait to, you know, and still being punished for doing illegal actions and that sort of thing. So we want to put it out there as soon as possible, but we know that we have still a lot of work to do on the art and the, and the tech to get everything ready that we have in mind for this location. So it will keep evolving in over the next few two or three patches and you'll you know get to see new stuff and figure out why this location is actually interesting instead of just being a parking space with a couple shops. So the wall base is built around a central hub um, with the ma major elevators going to the landing pads at the top and every other area branching off of it. And like I said before we're going for incremental release so that means that we'll start with a couple shops only and add extra content and unlock areas as we go. So there's going to be a bar, there's going to be a kiosk for you to enter races and bet on illegal races um, with a view over a tunnel where the ships are going to start and end their races uh, going through the asteroid and that sort of thing. Um, and also what we want to do with the green zone in this location is for the first release, we're going to have one on the interior. Anything beyond an airlock will be like weapons uh, restricted. But the idea for the future is that we have other ways of trying to police it a bit more so that we allow you to carry weapons, but it's at your, at your own risks that you're going to pull them out. And we don't want it to turn it into, like, to turn into a constant deathmatch. We want it to be safe enough to respond to this location, but that there's always an element of risk. So I don't want to spoil everything, uh, I will let you explore the location by yourself. Uh, I just wanted to show a few pictures of how it was when I sort of finished the white box and what it is now, so that you can just understand how much work has gone into it from all of the disciplines and all of the studios involved in this project, and it's not like the work of one designer to make a new location for this game.